5.30 in the morning. The family is getting ready to come downstairs. I'm the first one up and down here. But we are getting ready to go to Vegas for a few days to go see a family when we're getting married. So we're gonna go have some fun and do lots of things. But I know y'all ask and wanna know how do you vacation as a poly family? So how does that work? What does it look like? So we're gonna take y'all on this ride with us. Um, myself, my co-wife, our king, head of the household, Mr. B's P, and of course our young daughter, Mrs. Jura is with us. Uh, my shy, the little baby, our baby, he's not on this trip, so run up time is in effect. But throughout this trip, we are gonna be playing this game that I found on I was at Target yesterday. It's called We're Not Really Strangers, friendship edition so we're family but we're also friends at the same time so we're gonna play this it has three different levels so we're gonna play one level per day that we're on this trip so we can get to know each other even deeper and y'all get to know us in a more candid way so follow us on this trip from atlanta to vegas and see how we move from poly style for vacation So this level is all about challenging our assumptions about the people we think we know the best. Next to you. So I'm going to ask Azure. Azure will ask Beasley. And Beasley will ask Ania. And Ania will ask me. You mean, you mean, uh, most after, after the wire business? In a relationship? Oh, that's a good one. Just friends. Okay. Oh, like friendship. Mean, friends. Which one did you send it to? Did you send it to the citizens um, or did you send it to the, are you sending it to the? Probably my auntie. Okay. My auntie. The one that's going to move so which one you feel? Like, 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 get their thing together. Have your business in order to move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She is that type of stuff. Okay. On top of she like to go out and have fun and stuff. So give her some wine yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. okay, no, this is a perfect question to ask her. And this is good because she's a fashion designer. Okay. It says, what about my style is undeniable to me? <laughs> <laughs> that is a perfect question. Wait, this is for me to ask yes, about you. Yes, yes. Answer that about me. What about my style is undeniable to me? Like that's yeah, that's her. That's her. <laughs> What do I do that you, yeah, Your that's her style, like, she gonna I wear that type of dress. Those, like that, uh, white, 
comfort that you just wore in that picture. Oh, the fur coat? Yeah, the fur coat. I was like, that. That's it. Right there. Even though I'm, I would wear something like that too, but it definitely looks like. I'm extra wear. like that. Yeah. I'm extra like that. Okay. I'm, yes. I appreciate it. Yeah, I didn't see that know. picture go on her Instagram. Hey, let's go. Yeah. Follow it too. I had a real message for you. Go cop the book too. What else? I went to her post notifications on too. If it's not a good, if it's not a good fit, it's the question that you're going to ask her about you. So if you feel like you need to switch it out, no. and you want to do that on camera, no. No. <laughs> she saw the question already. That's, that's a perfect that question because this is about a. That kind of that's a perfect question because this is our poly family video you know on vacation this is the question for my father and mother read it aloud father yeah. on a scale of one to ten how sexually adventurous do i say or how sexually adventurous <laughs> i'm gonna need you to take that smile down about a thousand percent <laughs> yes really that was traumatizing anyway you want to answer for her? You want to answer for her? Well, I was just doing it for fun. Right. Oh, she said no. Yes, my question is, what are the three most important qualities in a friend? <coughs> three most important qualities in a friend. Loyalty. Um, reciprocation. And, uh, Honestly. Okay, I'm, we question for the table. Question for the can, table. Yeah. What the are the three most? What are the three most important qualities in a friend? Trust. Trust. Dependability. Dependability. Loyalty. Those are Anna Yaz. Trust, dependability, loyalty. Next. I should have been thinking while you was talking. Was oh my god. <laughs> um, you want me to go and I'll think? Oh, okay. Three. Transparency. It's a good word for keeping it real, no matter what. Authenticity. I was thinking that, but I felt like I was going in a cliche moment. No. Yeah. Yeah. Authenticity. Um, I'm supposed to be, supposed to be living off of the visual anyway. And wisdom. Like, I need you to have something. Because I'm, I'm, I'm good. So I need somebody just as good around me to talk and talk and pour into me like I pour into other people. I need you. There you go. I'm with it. Period. So, so um, she said transparency, authenticity, and wisdom. Me, I would say ambition, just because I'm young and I have, I'm young and I'm an entrepreneur myself, so I want somebody that's going to push me, especially that's in my friend circle. So, ambition, um, humor, I feel like that's a given for friendship and then just like spontane spontaneity spont being spontaneous yeah yeah because like i'm young i want to do fun stuff and like having friends that's like oh let's go you know be like okay but do they gotta pull your leg to get you to go though you gotta no be, you know? if it's if it's on something good you know i'm good. not gonna be trying to go to the uh to the uh pop out that the, you gotta go no. and take the initiative to say hey yeah. i found this yeah, museums and stuff, museums, parks. This is basically that. her friendship application. Yeah. If you're a black girl yeah. in Atlanta doing your thing, yeah. you know, follow her. At the jury, yeah. Because, you know, friends are welcome.
morning, good people. Today is day two here in Vegas um, on the family vacation. Yes, I have sold the husband's frames for the day. Or for the moment, because I gotta return them because when he sees this video, he can be mad. Like, why you take my stuff outside? But out here at the resort, you know, just, just to sleep, of course. But um, today, I think we got some fun activities. Family is all here. The wedding that we're here for is here. Well, it's today. So, we're going to have us a good day. But right now, I'm on a mission to find snacks and water because the Kang, Mr. B's P, is under the weather. So, we got to get him squared away so that we can run around the city. All right? So, let me get off of here because I got to find out where I'm going. I'm a little lost. level two because we've been a little bit delayed due to these P being sick and just moving around but we're gonna get through this game because it's, it's a key game all right so level two is connection who are you really this round is about asking the rarely asked questions and connecting on a deeper level all right bet. so i'm going first okay yes my question is were you comfortable having friends over growing up my answer was... <laughs> she just want to air y'all out. She just want to air y'all out right now. This your time, baby girl. Let the people know how they did you. Uh, my answer would be not really. Just because, like, I grew up uh, kind of, like, to myself. Well, really to myself. So I got comfortable not having nobody over my house. And then, I don't know, like, me, me and my parents' relationship, like, we're just so, we're close. So, like, I felt like having friends over, I didn't know, like, what, you know, my parents would say or do. They not random, to say that, they not random say that they, like, they would do the most. Like, no. I just, oh. I don't know. I just probably thought too much about it and didn't. You thought we would do something to. too. And bear, yeah, I thought they'd be you. like, you know, like how my mother be trying to, you know, get on me sometimes. What did you do? You know. I just didn't, you know, I'd rather go over their house. It was, that was social really anxiety. Was. I would rather go over their house. Yeah. Social anxiety mm -hmm. from lack of. And I didn't want to be, I feel like when you invite people over to your house, you're in charge of like making sure their entertainment is fulfilled. I didn't want to be that. It, I wanted to be entertained. <laughs> no, for real. That's a real life. Yes. Like, I, I got to entertain right. these people. No, I got right. to entertain. Mm -hmm. What are that we going to do? Oh, that was a big, that was a big no, 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 no. I was always like thinking like, what if they don't have a good so time over my house? That like, was another reason why I didn't like, come back to nobody. Your house. Yes, I didn't like dealing with none of that. So I would just rather go over somebody's house. Yes. So that's my answer. Growing up, my friends would come over pretty yeah. frequently. Um, they would come over, you know, we hang out, whatever, you know, eat. They were comfortable, you know, to just hang out and, and really just be um, blended in with the family, with my parents and my siblings at that time. So yeah, I would say for me, me, I would say for me, I, I ain't really have like outside friends. Like I hung out with my cousins. Like my cousins oh, was yeah. my friend. Oh, like, I, my I go to my big my house. I'm hanging out with all of my boy cousins. It, at one point, it was like 11 kids and like four or five adults, and how like we kicked it. Oh. And then my other cousins would come like. My other cousins would come to my house and we would just have the most fun and do the crazy stuff. So like, I was always happy because my cousins was my friends. Was my yeah. To this day, yeah. too. <laughs> That's the best, too, yeah. growing up. My cousins and were pretty Having your cousins me. as your, your best friends. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Your only friend, shit. Yeah. <laughs> your only friend, like, what happened to my people? You didn't need no other friends. No, when having you, them. When you got cousins like that, you don't need right. no other True. friends. Right. <laughs> True. A lot of mine were other friends. Yeah. Yeah. The next question. What's the hardest part about making new friends for you? Oh, that's a good question too. Yeah. Well, personally for me, um, making new friends is difficult sometimes because I have kind of like trust issues, you know, and at this stage in my life, 
Um, not really trying to make no new friends, no new friends. No new friends, no new friends. So, no. <laughs> I mean like acquaintances, associates, people that you are, you know, that you have familiarity with. Uh, that's kind of like um, where I'm at. But, you don't want no friends, you, know, you want I have, I have, yeah, I, I mean, it's like at this stage, at this stage, it's kind of like, you know, I have the, the trust issues are so deep that I just, you know, I'm very hesitant. So, okay. so the, mm -hmm. is the hesitance, the hesitance makes the lack of desire. If there was no hesitance, oh, if there was no hesitance, would there be a desire? Because there's a lack of, there's a lack of you wanting to do it because of the issues. If you got rid of the issues, do you think? Oh, you the issues ain't. Okay. Because. <laughs> This is a real conversation, No, because like no, women really be there with each other. Like, mm -mm. I can't, I can't take another no, heartbreak. No, no, it's, it's too like, deep. It's too yeah, deep. My, at this stage, I'm good with yeah. you know. Whatever, she has whatever, the whatever best best friend you could oh. ever. So have. you, so Azuri did her friendship <laughs> application. So you need to do your acquaintance application. You want somebody to go to do coffee with, go to a museum, and see every couple months. Right. <laughs> Yeah, don't be calling, you know, every single day. <laughs> okay, do, can, can we, do we check in once or twice a month? Like, hey, girl, you alive? Mm -hmm. Okay. I saw this exhibit that come out in two months. You want to go to? Right. You know, that type of thing. Okay, okay. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. So, any ladies um, who are interested, this is her friendship. Right. We got to get her back on social media. <laughs> contact her through the Unbelieving Game page. <laughs> Unbelieving yeah. ATL. Or Instagram. contact her through Asha uh, Charlotte. Yeah. 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 Just don't come with no weirdo stuff. Cause yeah. We got trust issues. Have to <laughs> um. People who are not trying to make it look like life perfect, but at the same time they ain't drowning. Like I don't, I don't want to be around nobody that's negative and just ain't in the upward motion and the mm -hmm. upward beat. Like trying to better themselves. Like, like that's what I. Yeah, I need people around me that's really trying to better themselves, like mentally, physically, right. spiritually, emotionally, and all those spaces. About something. Yeah, because I need to be able to. Mm -hmm. I need somebody to talk to this shit out with. Yeah, because I ain't got yeah. together. So I'm trying. Yeah. yeah. Like you, you take me or you on a higher level than me. So that's where I'm at. Like I'm, I'm being very strategic about who I let come around me. I'm open to it. I don't care where you from, but it got to be your mindset and, and where you trying to move. And everybody not on that, especially in my age range, being you know almost mid thirties. Like some of us are still out there. So I, I just be looking around. So maybe I just need to find me some like sixty year old women. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the go for me. But yeah, that's my struggle. <laughs> Um, I would say my, the hardest thing about me making friends is really like the introduction. Like I'm not very uh, forthcoming. I mean, I'll say hi, but I don't really, sp I don't really speak unless spoken to kind of thing when it comes to like strangers. So I don't really um, find, I find myself like finding it hard to make an introduction like in a friend like I want to be your friend type of way but not desperate yeah I want to make I, a friend I'm also yeah. I don't I'm very chill like I'm not gonna do too much yeah to like let you know I want to be friends like you I'm gonna I'm say hi <laughs> like, to you like what's your cue so the people yeah, can know I'm your cue I'm gonna say hi to you but it'd be better if like you, you say hi to me and then I give you oh. the biggest smile ever but sometimes you have to put you know, yourself out there. but yeah I put myself out there like yeah. I say hi but I, after that you like, gonna get one high and yeah, after that you after I that. say hi, how are you? I don't really know like how to pray. Like, what you are keep you doing it. You just or, keep I doing guess. that. I don't know. Yeah, you repeat but, that yeah, step. Yeah, yeah. You repeat that and step. And then also, I find friends like because I went so long without having like a best friend. Like I've never really had a best friend. I find it's overrated. Kind of it's overrated. Like I you find having goodness. friends kind of unnecessary. Like I don't need it. So when some when somebody does something that you know kind of sets me off, I just don't even like try to work it out, I just be like, oh well I guess that didn't like work this. out. And I'll just be like, hey, I got my day one. You know, I don't need it. You know, I got my day one. I don't, I don't really need, you know, too many. But I'm still open, so yeah. yeah. Just See, the introduction and stuff is what's kinda of Well, okay, so I like your mom was just saying, 
like you rather them say hi hello to you. If that's your approach and that's her approach, then y'all both at a standstill. Nothing's going to happen. Yeah. You yeah, waiting on her, yeah. she waiting on you. So nothing, and you're not the only one with that type of mindset and type yeah. of feelings. So everybody's missing out because that's so many people's mindset. So yeah. If, yeah. I feel like we got to understand on, in the space of, well, how I walk into a room, it's on some, let me wave my white flag when I get in here so everybody know that it's love, like, so that you know that it's extra safe. And sometimes, for me, it feels like do, I have to do the most to let people know, hey, it's safe, it's good over here when dealing with women. It feel like doing too much, but it might be what's needed, at least initially, to be able to build friendships with women because we got the trust issues and mm -hmm. everybody wants the other person to approach and right. do the work. So, like, I, I do kind of what I feel like is extra but is needed and just waving my white flag from the mm -hmm. door. Hey, how you doing? Give me hugs. Hey, like, doing that. Yeah. So, it's you got to find your balance yeah. in that because it's going to be a standstill. It's never going to mm -hmm. be yeah. good connections. See, You're never going to find that, that best friend outside yeah. of that. I usually just say hello, ask some questions, you know. I feel like that's me putting my, um, what's it called? Shooting my friendship shot. Right. Asking <laughs> questions. But you got you know? you to be then, consistent like, with them. Like, if they don't, like, pick up that I'm trying to, you know, trying to befriend them, then I don't, I just be pulling back because I don't want to seem like, I feel like that's me taking the hit. Like, they don't want to, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm very you like. You gotta shoot your shot. Uh, you shoot you, your shot. Yeah, like it don't take me much to like understand. Like you gotta really be like open to me while I'm asking you questions because I feel like you're not trying to receive my questions. I'm just be like, oh okay, and then just keep it pushing. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But just balance but, the, Just yeah. balance that out because they dealing with that same thing. Yeah. If they're dealing with that same thing too, so you gotta be consistent. Like you said, shooting your friendship shot. Like when basketball players like learn how to make them shots, like they gotta continuously do it. Yeah. For it to hit like it needs mm -hmm. to, so you gotta continue, even if it's with that same person. Yeah. So they can really get like, oh, okay, she is, she genuinely like trying to be for all right, cool. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good question. <laughs> Do any of your friends no longer feel like friends? Do any of your <laughs> friends no longer? Now, I, I, and we didn't look at these cards when we picked them up, and I didn't look through the deck before. Right, they were they the all related yeah, to I, friendship. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, but that's do a really good question. Of your current friends, yeah, do not it, the like, ones that you already have unfriended. Or I'm you saying no you, longer, they were friends, friends, and now friends, they no longer yeah. feel like like wait, you wait, just wait, 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 no, I feel like it's saying like they no longer feel like friends because they're could, family. That could be a yeah. way. That so that's you can get it from either way. You lost them, or they became deep. As far as lost, oh. Yeah, do it. Yeah, go ahead. As far as lost friends, um, yeah, I have a lot of friends that I thought were friends that are now lost. Like, I don't really, I don't talk to a lot of people at all. So, yeah, I have lost friends, but as far as friends that turn into family, absolutely not. I don't have any friends <laughs> like that. But I would love to have some friends like that. You know, I have some people in my life that could potentially maybe, you know, they gotta become get family, to but it's still like a, get to that it's still thing. a journey. I you ain't invited nobody journey. over, so how is these people on the way? Did we already answer that, answer that question? Wait, okay, <laughs> okay, well, okay. Continuation of, yeah, shoot I your friend's shot. It's still a journey. Like, we ain't gonna be embarrassing. Invite them over for my activities, right. Yeah, but we're playing a whole party. We can play a whole, it would be so cute too. I like going out, you know, when I have friends. Oh, you want to invite them out before you invite them in? Yeah. become deeper. Anyhow, well, I guess gaining and losing, I guess. Or however you want to approach it. Because it, you I know, losing. I would, yeah, me too. So, <laughs> I, the ones that have already been lost, you know, I don't feel like how did they? How did they? How did they the trust them? issues. Okay. And so, the ones that... What they was doing? <laughs> we ain't even been that way too deep of a question. <laughs> No, we ain't gonna go there. But the, the quality ones that um, you know that uh, that I call friends are more like family. So we, we love, I mean, this this is going what like 30 years, 20, 30 years. You want to shout anybody out on the airwaves? No, they know. They know. They know. So yeah, that's what it is. They family. They We've been rocking for a long, long time. So that kind of makes up for the ones that had to get lost mm -hmm. because they were here. Mm -hmm. They had to die. Um, all my friends feel like family. Like if mm -hmm. anybody that I call a friend, 
is some kind of family. He might be that distant cousin, he might be the closest cousin, he might be that extra sister or auntie or whatever. So I definitely have that side. But the way I took the question was, of course, on news and brain. <laughs> um, I had to cut some people off. I had to cut some people off. Different stages in life, different stuff happens that causes. To, yeah, like grow, it's it's on the whole growing apart. Like I said, that the things I'm looking for in friends, y'all not y'all not in that space. And if you're not in that space, and all you want to do is wallow in life and things like that, and, you know, just not try to strive to do anything with yourself, but look at me like, oh, she thinks she's too good to kick you with the old with her old friends, cause where she'd have moved in life and things like that, like. It ain't even like that, but because you're stuck in your negative place and not trying to be mobile, you know, I have to cut people off, so, you know, I like that, but it's with love, it's with love, like, genuine love and, and peace and comfort in it, but it's like, damn, and who knows, who wanna maybe lose I reconnect, you know, on yeah. something else, but, but sometimes you know when something is dead. Mm -hmm. You got like you got to bear somebody and uh -huh. rest them in peace and find comfort in that decision and how God moved you. Mm -hmm. Some stuff you got to do, and it's with love. Mm -hmm. 